Welcome to today's study in American government. Today we're going to be looking at interest groups. The renowned political scientist Harold Laswell defined politics as the struggle that determines who gets what, when, and how. This struggle is no more evident or clearly seen as we study interest groups. The government has a vast depository of resources because of its ability to tax. Not only does it have financial resources, but the government also dispenses political or power resources. That is the ability to command and demand certain actions within the public arena based on the policies that it passes. We're going to be looking at interest groups and their desire to access the resources of government. We're going to look at the interest group system, which primarily consists of two groups. There are economic groups, such as uh, chambers of commerce, unions, businesses uh, that seek to influence or access government resources. And there are citizens groups who have citizen interest at heart. Uh, those would be groups like uh, the Sierra Club or Greenpeace or uh, various other ethnic groups, the NAACP, all interest groups. And then we're going to compare uh, the two groups, the economic groups with the citizen group, and we'll see in that comparison that the economic groups have a distinct advantage over the citizens groups when it comes to accessing government resources. And then we're going to look at inside lobbying. That is the ability or efforts by interest groups to influence political policy and decision making through contact and access to government officials. And we'll look at outside lobbying. That's the efforts of interest groups to influence uh, political decisions and policy making through public pressure. We find that the AARP or ARP is one of the most effective groups when it comes to bringing public pressure on uh, political decision makers. And finally, we'll close this unit by looking at the indispensable yet bias group system. Indispensable from the standpoint that interest groups have become a vital part of the American policy. Poli polity. All right. And then we will look at the bias aspect because most of these interest groups, well, not most of them, all, all of them have their own selfish focus or interest that they are after. So they are they're pretty biased. Yet we've got thousands of these interest groups seeking to access government resources. With that introduction, let's take a look at interest groups today.